This video is from my physiology lab tonight, in which we demonstrated the effects on muscle fibers of varying frequencies. At low frequencies of stimulation, muscle fibers contract and have enough time for the fibers to completely relax between contractions. This is called a muscle twitch. As the frequency increases, a new contraction begins before the preceding one has finished. This results in the fusing of twitches and an increase in tension or strength of the second contraction relative to the first, being partially added to the first and thus is called summation. Hence, contraction strength does increase somewhat with a rise in stimulation frequency. At a critical frequency level, the successive contractions are so rapid that there is no time for partial relaxation between contractions. They fuse together and the contraction appears to be smooth and continuous. This is a tetanic contraction. It occurs when there are enough calcium ions in the cytoplasm between action potentials to maintain muscle contraction without allowing any relaxation. This means that after the series elastic component has been overcome, the force generated by the muscle fibers can be transmitted to the tendon attachment. Most sustained muscular activities, like holding a book and walking, involve tetanic contractions that result from the nervous system sending a high-frequency train of impulses down to motor neurons. So the controller is turning on the switch from his arm, and TENS unit is sending the impulse to her. So oh, right now we've got a low frequency, but she's giving her a whole bunch of little twitches in her finger. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. okay. Now hold it. I'm going to change this to a higher frequency. Now move your arm again. Oh, so that's oh there we go. Do it again. <laughs> summation. Okay, low twitches. <laughs> Okay, flex your arm. Okay, medium twitches. Now relax. Okay, now we'll do summation. Go like this. Wow, that's crazy. Did you lift that up at all? No. Now I'm going I'm to do something different here. Here, pop, pop. Increase this. Now watch, watch. I'm just going to change my voltage. Watch. Oh, <laughs> Back. Oh. <laughs> That's so Four. crazy. So I'm just That's I'm just so moving hard. the voltage right now. Watch voltage. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> just so comfortable. No, it's like weird. Like increase, decrease, increase, decrease, <laughs> increase, decrease, increase, decrease. That is crazy. Okay, I gotta stop here for a minute. So what happened when I was increasing the voltage? stronger. Yeah, the why strength of the getting, signal is So fine. why was it getting stronger? I, I, well, let me rephrase it. When I increase the voltage... More motor we units? Motor unit recruitment. So when I increase the voltage, we're recruiting more and more unit, motor units. It's like it takes more electricity to move more stuff, right? So like if I have a toy at the end there and I have a wire, a little bit of electricity is going to run one toy. But if I have like 50 toys there, I need a whole lot of electricity. That's what's happening there. So the more electricity I put in there, the more motor units can be activated. Okay, on the other hand, now, and that was in tetanus anyway, I had a high frequency. So I could have, what controls uh, summation and tetanus? Is it voltage or frequency? Frequency. Frequency, frequency. so I increased the frequency. I went from twitch summation to tetanus. Do you feel anything right now? No. So, do you feel anything there? It's super, oh, there you go. Now, start out low, so, Low frequency, medium frequency, high frequency. Isn't that weird? So tri twitch, summation, tetanus. Okay, we're done. I don't